Here in Toon Town, the animal species you play as often says a lot about you as a player. In this video, we'll be going over every species in the game and addressing the stereotypes attached to each animal. Remember, stereotypes do not apply to everyone. There are many exceptions out there. This video is just for entertainment. With that said, let's go. People with dog tunes are usually pretty chill and dependable during fights. However, they tend to have a short temper. Don't angle them or you'll never hear the end of it. Oh boy. Ah! Rabbit tunes are nice. Just, just nice. Really, that's it. These guys are angels. There are two types of cat tunes. In one corner, there's a vibrant poly folk who enjoy role playing and screaming at people. In the other corner, there's the perfectly normal cats who just enjoy playing the game like any other tune. However, there's one other type of cat that you may be familiar with. <laughs> oh boy, these guys. Black cats are edgy, and they tend fall under most negative stereotypes you'd expect to see from normal cats. However, people very rarely have black cats as their main tunes, so these aren't as common. This one is different, since the stereotype changes depending on the gender of the tune. Female mice tend to be very friendly and are usually older players. Males are very loud and well, annoying. People with horse tunes are usually old players who know the game like the back of their hand and enjoy sharing their wisdom with others. Keep being awesome, guys. Honestly, I've never found a specific stereotype for duck tunes. Some of them can be kinda childish, I guess, and I think some of them are big Coach Z fans. These guys come in two categories, similar to that of the cat and the mouse. They're either really annoying or really helpful. Sometimes they overlap and they can be both. Inappropriate. Bear tunes are the strong, silent types. They're usually seen in cog buildings and are somewhat uncommon, but they're nowhere near as rare as. These guys are really fun to be around, however they are also very rare. Pig tunes are endangered species, which is ironic because Toontown fans themselves are endangered as well. I'm putting all six of these together, simply because they're all brand new species. Deers are just cats with antlers, or should I say a monkey? However, I love their designs. But for God's sake, they're played by Loopy and Corporate Clash. Come on. Alligators aren't as common, but they're usually cool. I mean, just, just look at this guy. Look at him. He's so awesome. Out of all the new species from Corporate Clash, bats are probably my favourite addition. Sadly, they don't have a stereotype yet. So, we'll see in due time. The same applies to the beaver. They don't have a stereotype yet. I'm just gonna see it. Foxes are furries. Yeah, it's an obvious joke, but come on, you know, you know it's true. When the foxes didn't make it into rewritten, all of the furries cried like an anime fan on prom night. And lastly, the raccoon. They're okay. I've run into both friendly and unfriendly players, so I can't really say. And that is every tune in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, maybe you could take a moment to sign my petition to add goats to Corporate Clash. Getting goats into this unofficial Toontown sequel is now my purpose in life. So let's do it! Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please consider joining my Discord server and looking up my Twitter and my DeviantArt, where I post my little pony fan art. 
Yay. Alright, see you guys soon.